let up in the political infighting over the devastation in Puerto Rico. President Donald Trump on Twitter today slammed his critics as politically motivated ingrates. The U.S. military has set up 11 staging areas across the island. The governor of Puerto Rico says resources are finally arriving, but distribution is still a challenge. Congressman Luis Gutierrez saw that firsthand. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar spoke with him tonight and joins us live now from Portage Park. Charlie. Jim and Mai, good evening. Yeah, I spoke with the congressman a short while ago. He actually left for Puerto Rico on Friday, returning to O'Hare just tonight. And while the president continues to praise the federal aid going out to Puerto Rico, the congressman paints a different picture. I simply asked the president of the United States, you know, shut down the Twitter account, open your heart, help them do their job. Send them the resources. Illinois Congressman Luis Gutierrez just returning from Puerto Rico, visiting San Juan, as well as areas outside of the city to assess the damage left behind from Hurricane Maria. But politics gets in the way. Which mayor gets what and when they get it? It shouldn't be like that. Yes, more fuel is reaching Puerto Rico and troops now have a presence. But the head of FEMA says there is a long road ahead. This is the most logistically challenging event the United States has ever seen. We've opened up 11 major highways, but this morning there are over 3,200 different problems reported with the roadway system. Lack of trucking means supplies can't get to those in need. 95% of the island still without power, and half of Puerto Ricans don't have clean drinking water. And Mr. President, Stop calling us lazy. Stop calling us incompetent. Stop blaming us for this tragedy. President Trump spoke earlier at the President's Cup golf tournament. If you look today and you see what's happening, how horrible it is, but we have it under really great control, Puerto Rico. And Congressman Gutierrez did not return from Puerto Rico alone. He actually brought several family members back who will resettle here in Chicago. Reporting live tonight in the Portage Park neighborhood, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Jim Mai.